So rare breed one, uh, Reno Gay, I mean May, sorry, I couldn't help myself. Just messing with you, buddy. Broke the story. Basically, uh, rare breed and Big Daddy Unlimited settled out of court, or at least that's what I'm getting from the court transcript. They settled out of court and to a sum of a payment that's confidential. So what does that actually mean? In their court document, it stops other companies from doing the same thing. It basically declares that they do in fact hold the rights to the patents and any other companies that infringe on it will obviously be sued. Paid damages. So that uh, Big Daddy Unlimited and whatever the other companies were, they have to pay damages to Rare Breed of a sum unknown. I'm assuming it's substantial because these sort of things usually are. So we'll never know what that is. Uh, I'm in editing right now, and I just realized this isn't signed. A judge is supposed to sign right there, and then date it, and that's when everything works out. Maybe I just got a copy that... I have no idea. Normally, when a document like this drops, it's signed, it's official, like, boom, done. That's the way it is. So this story may not be over yet. If anybody can get me a signed copy and PM it to me on like Instagram or something, that would be awesome so I can put this story to bed. If we are unable to achieve a signed copy, maybe the judge doesn't agree with this. Maybe there's some language in there he is not okay with. Who knows? But yeah, that should be signed. Anyway, back to the video. On the next thing, let's go to Rumorville for a little bit. So, word around the campfire is that the ATF never actually moved on Rare Breed because of this whole patent lawsuit thing, and they were waiting for that to conclude before they start moving on them. So, it's very possible. Again, this is Rumorville. I couldn't get anybody to go on record saying this. It's just talk around the campfire. So, it's very possible we may start seeing some ATF action directly against Kevin Maxwell and Lawrence Domenico. Will that happen? I don't know. Uh, like I said, I couldn't get any solid facts on this. This is just rumor. I hope that that's not going to happen because I would like to see them out of prison and fighting this case and ideally taking it all the way up to the Supreme Court and ideally taking down Chevron deference. Will that happen again? I, I don't know. Uh, will they come on the market again? No. Don't forget, Lawrence Domenico was pulled over, had machine guns pointed in his face, and they seized all Rare Breed's property. Yeah, they might start manufacturing it again, but they'll probably just get their property seized. So, they're not going to be back up for sale, at least not for the immediate future. Now, there was talk about the Supreme Court doing something with Chevron deference in this coming year. Rumorville, will that happen? I don't know. I... I hope it does, because we need this. Will it? I don't know. So, one of two things are going to happen. Either Kevin Maxwell and Lawrence Domenico will be free on the street, and hopefully they're going to continue to fight the ATF, start a lawsuit up, take that lawsuit all the way up to the Supreme Court, and attack Chevron deference, and in the ideal world, they win, and now the ATF can't just arbitrarily dub things as a machine gun. Or, now that this is over, a certain amount of time will pass, maybe a week, maybe a month, maybe a couple of months, they'll get picked up and they'll be spending the rest of their life basically in prison. I, don't, I hope the best for them, I really do. Again, the rumor was the only reason they're not already in prison is because of this patent infringement lawsuit, and the ATF didn't want to interfere with that. Hopefully that rumor is incorrect. Like I said, I couldn't substantiate it. I couldn't get anybody to go on record saying it, but that's the word around the campfire. Anyway, uh, thank you for watching. It is kind of cool to see this finally settled so we can move forward with all this stuff and hopefully get a victory in the end here. If you like to help support the channel, got my Patreon right there. I also have affiliate links in the description down below. Just by clicking on those particular links, even if you don't purchase what that particular link is for, just clicking on it and doing the Amazon shopping you were already going to do anyway, that'll kick back for because you came there off my channel. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe.